When a truck driver witnessed a terrible crash, he jumped out of his truck and bolted towards the flames that had ensued. Little did he know his dash cam would capture a miracle. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. David Fredrickson, a professional truck driver, was traveling along the I-10 freeway in Gulfport, Mississippi, when he saw the driver of Lincoln Town Car fail to yield while merging into the 70 miles per hour traffic on the highway. To his horror, the car collided with an 18-wheeler, crashing into the truck's gas tank, according to ABC News. Immediately, a fireball formed and black smoke began pouring from the wreck as flames erupted across the highway. I just caught a glimpse of the front grille of a car that looked like it was going in the wrong direction, Fredrickson recalled. It was a pretty big explosion and then the road, the car, everything was on fire. Holy cow, Fredrickson's partner Walter Letterman exclaimed. That guy's dead, dude. Frederick feared Letterman was right, but he had to do something. After stopping his vehicle a safe distance away, Fredrickson grabbed his fire extinguisher and ran towards the horrific highway crash, terrified of what he might find. When he reached the wreckage, Fredrickson attempted to calm the flames. When I got out of the truck and I pulled the pin of the fire extinguisher, I just automatically started praying. God, please don't let me have to deal with somebody halfway burned alive screaming or have to see kids in there. I mean, I didn't want to see something like that. My first reaction was they were dead, Fredrickson admitted, but he was wrong. As Fredrickson fought the fire, something caught his eye. I saw this little head pop in the back window and immediately thought, wow, they're alive, he recalled, according to CBN. A 51-year-old woman and a toddler, who was later reported to be the woman's grandchild, were trapped inside. When we opened the door, I noticed a one-year-old little girl in the back seat, Fredrickson recalled. As he tried to help pull the door open, he knew time was running out. I heard the metal bending. I'm a pretty good-sized guy, and if you watch the video, you can see that I'm struggling pretty hard to get it open, he said. Struggling to free the woman and her granddaughter, a desperate Fredrickson continued to pray. Once more, he asked God for divine intervention, then a miracle happened. At that point, you know, what else could I do, he said, recalling the feeling of defeat he was experiencing at that moment. I'd never been in a situation like that before, but he wasn't about to give up. Other motorists came to help and finally the door broke free. Then in the back seat, that little head, I saw it pop up again, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw some other people showing up, and so I reached into the back seat and grabbed the little girl. I reached in and she grabbed me around the neck, Fredrickson explained. She was pretty happy when I grabbed her out of there. Relieved, he carried the child to safety as others joined in the rescue, helping the toddler's grandmother escape the wreckage as well, and it was all just in the nick of time. We got them both away from the car and it just went up in flames, Letterman said. Nothing but the charred metal was left behind. I don't know how we all made it through that, admitted a tearful Scott Swanson, the man who was driving the truck that was involved in the accident. But making it out alive wasn't the only miracle that took place. According to police, the unidentified woman and toddler had only suffered minor injuries thanks to Fredrickson's quick thinking. But that's not all. As the trucker saved the day, he was also remarkably unscathed. The car was on fire and I didn't burn my hands. It wasn't hot, Fredrickson relayed in disbelief, adding he believes God intervened, using him to help rescue the two victims. I believe that he protected me and protected them, he said. If I had been 20 seconds sooner, I would have been down the road. If it would have been 10 seconds sooner, it would have been me she hit. I've never met that lady, but I'm just very happy I was able to help her that day, Fredrickson explained. It seems surreal they were okay, he added. I mean, I didn't think anyone could survive that, truthfully. As he travels highways across the country, David Fredrickson is ready and willing to be used by God again. When you see something like this, you have no other choice, Fredrickson. When you have a relationship with God, the supernatural happens all the time, he explained. God puts people where they need to be. That little girl, God's got a purpose for her and that's why he protected her that day. Fredrickson added before concluded, It just reassures me that if God needs me and he puts me in front of somebody that needs my help, I'm gonna help him. You've just gotta listen to God. <laughs>